say about the design process is to specify certain general properties or general settings in which the user specifies whether or not uh, simulations to be carried out uh, for the model are voltage driven or current driven. Uh, Mojisov allows this option uh, and sort of specifying the supply voltage, uh, which I'm going to change to 120 volts. Uh, synchronous speed is specified by the user and the rate of spe uh, speed of the rotor is specified as a percentage of the synchronous speed. Um, the user then specifies the number of phases uh, and the number of poles as well as a uh, number of bars. Uh, Motorsolve, um, Motorsolve uh, supports uh, any number of phases uh, greater than or equal to two. Um, number of slots can also be specified, and I'm going to change, keep that at uh, 24. The user specifies uh, the outer diameter, so let's change that to 150. And air gap thickness, uh, stack size, change to 23. Uh, following which the user then selects the various uh, rotor bar configurations or um, that are supported in MotorSolve. Um, so these include round back bars with parallel treats, flat back bars, uh, rectangular bars, um, round bars, and various other um, options as you see on your screen. And in this case, I'm going to select the uh, flat back bars with parallel teeth. Uh, in addition, various stator uh, geometries is also supported in MotorSolve. These include square, round, parallel tooth, general square, general round, uh, parallel square, parallel round, and uh, various other options. Uh, the user can specify the dimensions of the um, uh, of the model using um, millimeter or uh, centimeter, micron, and inch, etc., as the um, user wishes to do so. So that's uh, essentially the first uh, step of the design process. Uh, following these uh, specifications of these general properties, the user then uh, moves on to more detail.